What is going on guys, Pagey back here and welcome to another NBA 2K17 My Team Player Card Review. Today we're going to be opening one of the packs I've just finished here. It's the Thunder Collection Ruby Ricky Pierce, I believe it was. I may have just blanked on that. So, yeah, it's the Ruby Ricky Pierce. As you can see here, 88 overall. The highest card you can get from completing a current team reward or current claim collection so we're gonna go have a look at his stats on this I haven't played with him yet as you can see I'm literally just packing him and going check he's very low rated here out of all the players hit this so the Thunder collection is gonna have some really good players in it so as you can see here a minus inside scoring a plus mid-range scoring B plus three-point shooting so that looks like a really solid card so we're gonna flip it over here 92 offensive rating 81 defensive rating six foot four 205 pounds so as we can see here, 90 layups, it's not too bad, 88 mid-range, 90 off the dribble mid-range, open shot 3 at 84, 91 free throw, that's great, that's what you want from players, a good free throw, anything interesting here, lateral quickness isn't great there, 64 steal, defensive consistency is 70, uh, driving dunk and contact dunk, that's really low I find. Uh, speed's an 85, speed with balls an 80, acceleration 82, so that's uh, that's not too bad. Stand number 90, that's good. Hustle 80, shot IQ 94, hands 90, and a 95 offensive consistently. Now what I've been asked to do as well is check out the tendencies here. So you can just have a look at these here. I won't really go through them. If you want to have a closer look, just pause the video and you can see what's going on here. A 2 tendency for shot 3 though, that might not be good, but... Yeah, you can see here these are all the different types of tendencies. I'll be adding these ones in as well. I won't be going into them as much because they're more of a like small thing people want to look at. So you can just have a quick look here. Pause the video again if you want to have a look at these things. But let's put him into the team and check him out on uh, the freestyle. So we're going to add Ricky Pierce in here. These, these are actually all the cards I need to go through and make videos for, so you'll be seeing a little bit of early uh, action of who I'm going to be doing. So let's go to freestyle right now. Alright, so here we are in the freestyle court here. Let's have a look at his hot zones. Actually, not too bad. Just the same replica left to right. Let's have a look at his shot. It's interesting. It's not as smooth as you'd hope. It's pretty clean. But overall, it's a little bit slow for my liking. And that mid-range shot is money. Let's have a look at this three-point rating. Because you can't be a three in this game without a good three. That's a terrible release, but I made it. Back-to-back -back threes. So you can make the three ball not too bad. I think he had decent three-point stats. I might just be bullshitting here. Well, that's a really early release. Yeah, so it's a slow, late release. I haven't hit one good perfect shot yet. Yeah, so it's not too bad a card. There we go, this is a perfect release. Um, the Thunder Collection is a bit of a bitch to complete, though, I will say that much. Um, but if you can get it done and need a three, I don't see why this card can't help you in any way. But I probably won't be using him myself because i got other players in mind. But it's nice to know there's a backup plan here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe for more content, and we'll see you 